The suspect in that Saturday crash is 47 year old Scott Farmer of Nina. Deputies say he was driving on the wrong side of Highway 10, colliding with the SUV carrying the Gonzalez siblings. Farmer is charged with four counts of homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle and operating under a revoked license causing death. He has four prior OWI convictions. Smith Cavalli is live in our Fox Valley newsroom after hearing from law enforcement and prosecutors about how they're fed up seeing this kind of crash happen. Samantha. Right, Cammie, frustration was the main and common uh, word that I heard today from multiple people I spoke with as finding out that intoxicated, excuse me, uh, impaired driving, intoxicated driving is 100% preventable. And now some people, some families, instead of planning their last minute holiday plans, they are burying their loved ones. We don't want to have a family have to bury a loved one and we don't want to have to prosecute these cases, but when it happens, uh, we will aggressively prosecute them and people can expect that they're going to go to prison. Fond du Lac County District Attorney Eric Tony says anytime you have a tragedy like the one involving the Gonzalez family, it impacts not only a family, but an entire community. He says sadly, he sees so many of these cases around the state and in Fond du Lac County. It's frustrating uh, is the, the, about the best word I can use when we see repeat offenders and even more frustrating when you see repeat drunk drivers and then a circumstance where a repeat drunk driver kills someone because they didn't learn from the first time where there should never be a first time. Lieutenant Megan Cash with the Appleton Police Department says there are increased patrols out around the holidays and more celebrations bring more drinking. She says when it comes to writing reports following OWI offenses, the department makes sure they are as thorough as possible when documenting the facts. When there are issues where somebody is maybe not following along with the probation that they were given or the, the circumstances of how they need to now operate after an offense, we make sure that we're addressing those concerns very quickly. Erin Payton with Mothers Against Drunk Driving says she's been working on the HALT Act for several years. This would allow technology to be placed in every car that would not allow anyone to drive drunk. She says potentially saving 10,000 lives a year. So just like an ignition interlock currently, what some people might know is something you have to blow into actively. Um, and if you, it detects alcohol, the car won't start or it will stop. Um, this is kind of the the next step of that. A reminder to people, if you see something, say something. You know, if you're at an establishment or you're at a party or you're somewhere and you see somebody that's grabbing their keys and on their way out to drive their vehicle, it takes those people in those places to report that happening. Now, if you see anyone swerving or being or driving impaired, call 911. The more people who do this, the better. Describe what you're seeing. Describe the vehicle. Describe the driver if you can. Even your location. Again, the more description that you can give to the 911 operator, the better. The goal is to provide much safer roads this holiday season, whether you're out on the road or in the street. Cami. Samantha, thank you. There are two GoFundMe pages set up to help out the family of the Gonzalez siblings. We'll update the way the local community can rally to help the family. It's right on our website. You can find a link at WBAY.com links.